thank you. It's working for my God, good. God, it's working for my good. It's working for my good. It's working for my good. I may not understand it. I may not even like it. But God, it's part of all things. And God, I love you. And I, and I know you've got a purpose for me. I know you've got something that you want me to do. And God, I'm committed to you. Through the ups and the downs of life, I, I'm not going to let that separate me from you. Because nothing can separate me from your love. Amen. Nothing. Hallelujah. Nothing. Thank you, As your heads are bowed. Paul says, yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any created thing shall be able to separate me from the love of God, which Amen. is in Jesus Christ. Whatever it is that you're going through, you've got to know, you've got to know Whatever it is that you've been through, you've got to know. And whatever it is that you will go through, you've got to know. You've got to know. God says that he wants you to know that he is with you. And he will never leave you nor forsake you. Because you're one of those. Those that love him. Some people don't understand your love for him. They don't understand why you love him so much. And because of that love, you have an assurance on the inside. You're smiling while other people are crying. And sometimes you're crying. And it's just a matter of time before you're smiling again. Because you know that weeping may endure for this night. But joy is going to come in the morning. And if you wait on the Lord and be of good courage, he is going to strengthen your heart. So wait on the Lord and know that all things are working together for good. Because you love God. And because you are called according. To his purpose. Grab somebody's hand. Father God, as we connect in this room, God, those that are discouraged, God, I want you to encourage them today. Those that may be depressed, I want to say to their spirit, be exalted, be lifted up, be encouraged in the name of Jesus. Those that have been through situations that they don't understand, I pray right now, God, that you begin to give them wisdom about the situation, that you would give them strength to overcome the issue. Lord, I speak into their spirit that they are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus that loves them that all things are working together for good because they love you, God, and they are called according to your purpose. God, assure them that they have a purpose and that they have a destiny, and God, begin to reveal it to them from this day forward. Lord, draw them so close to you, God, that they can see what it is that you are saying to them. God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, begin to move in the hearts of your people. Begin to bless them, God. Begin to encourage them, God. People that are downtrodden, build them up. You said you came that, you, that we may have life and life more abundantly. So God, breathe abundant life into us by the power of your Holy Spirit. God, we need you. We need you every hour. There's not a day that goes by that we don't need you. And it's only our minds playing tricks on us when we feel like that we need to run from you. Lord, give us a running to you. Help us to run to you when we're in trouble. Help us to know that, God, your thoughts towards, towards us are good and not evil to give us a hope and a future. You care about us and you love us with a love that cannot be measured in this life or the life to come. It's an everlasting love. It's an eternal love. And your mercy has endured from generation to generation. Pour out your grace in the hearts and the minds of your people. Let them know that it's not about perfection, but it's about making progress towards you and living the best that they can and letting you work in them the will and to do for your good pleasure. God, begin to move in the hearts of your people to get you today in the name of Jesus. <sighs> now take a few minutes and you pray for that person next to you. Encourage them. Pray for them now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Begin to pray for their strength. Begin to pray that they be encouraged. Begin to pray that their life will reflect what they believe. Lord, 
put knowledge on the inside of them that all things are working together for good. And Lord, that those that are struggling, God, begin to give them the strength to overcome in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 